Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Just Cause Three. Last time we did some of the story, but the story was not great. The story missions are unspectacular. I think I'm in agreement with a few other big commentators on that front. So I said we were going to do more story, but I checked, and the next story mission is helping Mario with a really stupid, inconsequential thing—a really wacky, weird physics puzzle involving wine barrels that is not fun. That basically means you have to be slow and cautious, like the mission was designed by someone who doesn't really understand Just Cause Three and what it's about. So we're not going to bother doing that. Instead, I'm going to do exactly what Just Cause Three should be about, which is I have found myself a fun little challenge in the overworld that I can just play around with and I'm going to do that. So yes, a little challenge video today because, and this is something I forgot to mention uh, by the way in my review, I completely forgot to mention this which is a shame because this is a really, really kind of good, interesting thing. Um, The online integration in this game is excellent, which is it doesn't really kind of get in the way of anything at all. Instead, all it does is it just keeps leaderboards between you and your friends. So for my version, because I'm on PC, Everyone who's a friend of mine on Steam, I basically can compete with in leaderboards. And just about everything has a challenge on it. Because it keeps an absolutely huge number of just kind of stats just floating around. It just kind of keeps track of loads of them. It's brilliant. Loads of like, you know, speed, drifting, stunts, hit and runs, uh, wheelies, havoc feats. There's so many different things. So aside from being able to see like how you compare to all your friends in all of these different challenges, there's also another thing that's absolutely amazing, which is any given one of them, you can start just permanently tracking it in the game. And that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to track one of those challenges, and my personal favourite is Far Flung Foe. Far Flung Foe simply means that you actually just have to basically toss someone around using the uh, using the catapult. So let's just uh, demonstrate that for you quickly. I think I saw back where near where I started. Yes, indeed, there was a cow near where I started. This is absolutely perfect. So all we need to do is take the... Is that cow? Cow's eating someone! I'm not sure if that's intentional or not if that's accidental, but okay, fine. We we th this cow now I I don't even feel bad about punishing this cow anymore because this this cow is evil and is eating a human. So tethers in this game, tethers work. You know, obviously, as you're fully aware, you can attach a tether to a creature, and then you can attach a tether to another thing, and then you can make the thing go like that. But that doesn't always work very well because, well, one, certain things fall over. But even if certain things, but even if certain things don't fall over, then obviously, if you just attack something, something else, it just hits the thing, and then that's not actually, you know, that useful or interesting or anything. But by the way, you, my friend, are going into the sea. So long, loser. There we are. He's going in the sea now. So one tether is not enough to actually catapult someone around at all. Instead, what you need to do is you need to create effectively a slingshot to actually throw anyone any particular distance. So first bit of the slingshot up top there, and then we simply grab you. Just give him a tiny pull just to get him off his feet. Military people can sometimes get out of these things. For the most part, other people can't. So we've now got two ends of a slingshot, and then you simply pull in and release when he's at the apex. And now we throw him over there, and that gets him, okay, that gets him 200 meters. That's a good starting point. I should say, by the way, I don't have the fully upgraded uh, tethers. I have a plus one tether number, so I can have four tethers simultaneously, and I have a plus one strength on the tethers, so my tethers uh, throw with more force. So if I'm throwing people further than you're seeing, it's because you don't have the, the mods for the tether strength yet. If you need to get your tethers up, then you're basically looking for the scrapyard scramble challenges. Um, one of them is over here on the top half of this island that's right down at the south and the starting area. So this one you can get really early on. Uh, so that's kind of one of them. The other one is a bit more out of the way, but you can actually get it fairly early, which is you just basically grab a plane, take it over to the cluster of islands, and this scrapyard scramble challenge over there, sorry, stockpile scramble, in that particular case, is over on this side. Um, although rather annoyingly, I think you don't have to take over this space. That's unrelated. I'm pretty sure you take over... Which is it? It's... I think it's this space up here actually unlocks the, um, the the stockpile scramble, which is a little unclear on the map, given it's way over here, but like this space doesn't unlock it. It's kind of annoying. So basically do both of those and you'll be able to have uh, four tethers at once and those tethers to be much stronger. So that's fine, but that wasn't too far. And you might have seen in the background that I've already done much further than that. I basically want to try and break my record today. I'd like to get at least a kilometre of flight on someone. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find the right areas. So those two buildings were fine, but they weren't very high. So the person's angle was just like, wee splat. 
What I really need to do is I need to have a higher angle in order to fling them higher up. Because the far-flung foe is the distance travelled. It's from the moment they set off to the moment they hit the ground again, how far have they actually travelled. So this building here, this big old ruined church, is actually kind of useful for that sort of thing. And this woman is just perfect for that. So... Let's set one tether right up there, and now give it a tiny tug to get her off her feet so she won't break out of the tether. Alright, next one goes in. Okay, I'm very sorry about all of this, by the way. I really do feel bad. And now we can blast her off into space. And off she goes. And that is going to get me a good... Ooh, that's a good result, actually. Hello, how far did you go? Where did she actually go? Uh, where will she have gone there? Yeah, that's... That's my second best score, actually. Excellent. All right, that's a much better result than I initially expected. Except, of course, we've got a problem with her being blasted this far, which is, obviously, though she kind of went a good distance there, there was nothing here but land. Had she kind of... Had there been, like, a big hole here or something, she might have been able to go further. And as you can see, there are many areas in this game where there are cliffs. So, actually, what I ought to do... I'm just trying to take off over here. If I could do this... From the other side, there's a cliff right there leading down into the sea. Actually, you know what? These buildings alone might be just about good enough, just as a test starting point. Because these buildings here should, if we just, oh, yep, yeah, get her into the right position to be targeted. Get her on the other side and go up to the top here. This will be good enough to get her off the cliff. Now, if I do a double tether, that should provide me with double the force, so I'm very sorry about this, but if we just go in now. You see, military people seem to actually be decent at getting the tethers off them, even when they've been thrown to the ground. Uh, civilians aren't so much, so you want to use civilians. So now, we can just throw her off and she should go off the cliff. Oh, oh, what? Oh, flip. I think I released too late there. She survived that, which is really impressive, mind you. Uh, okay, and then just pull her slightly off her feet so she won't be able to get back up. Now, I think we need to be more like over that angle, actually. This isn't the perfect angle. It might be a bit too... Shut up. I'm feeling very sorry for this woman. The cloud of blood makes it clear you are basically just, you know, putting these tethers directly into her skin. Now, if I just step back a bit and... There we go. Now, if we just follow her as far as we can. Oh, where is she? Where is she? She's still falling wherever she is. No, no. She stopped after just 300 meters. Okay, so that wasn't so good. So the idea was we shot her off here and then she went off this cliff down there. So ideally what we need, the perfect solution would be what we would need to do would be we'd need a, a nice high structure like this to get miles of height. And then what we'd need to do would be a big cliff the other side for them to actually fall off after we were done. And I did just remember, of course, one of those big vigilator stations is right over there. That could provide some perfect little areas for me to do this in. Now, what is the highest point where we've actually got some rebels? Because once you've taken over a station, rebels want to add it. And rebels never turn on you. Even if you do horrible, horrible, terrible things to them, they never seem to turn on you. But, oh, I'm not sure there's any rebels up here. They will, however, be hanging around on the level below, though, because there was a helicopter the level below. And for some reason, helicopters... There's always some rebels hanging around. Yes, hanging around, guarding them. Beautiful. And stop. Yep, lovely. Top up my flares and stuff. I've got an upgrade that means I've got three flares and three beacons. So, ah. You, my good man, could be just the thing. So if we could just flick these guys up into the air, they've got loads of distance to fall. The downside is I don't really have anything up here to flick them off. Because I need to ideally... Ooh. Look over there, however. This is about the same level, but those structures, those beams, could be just perfect. Aha! Aha, 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 aha. Look at this lovely woman here. Right. We need to get the safety barriers out of her way first. Luckily, even like little barriers like this have proper physics on them, so can be pulled down. So you just need to pull all the safety guardrails off here. Okay, safety guardrails removed. The plan, therefore, is we need to catapult this woman over in that direction. The two ideal ones will probably be about there to about there. She goes off there and gets flung off the cliff and goes down a very long way. She has to clear, she has to clear down there and she has to go down all the way into the sea. That 
should be quite far. So we'll see if that works. Uh, the downside of the military sorts is they are better at untying themselves even after they've been knocked off their feet versus civilians. They'll be able to resist, so I probably won't be able to get two layers of tether onto them. I'll just be able to get one. And that's okay. That might just be enough. For a parachute ride. I think that woman actually just said she wanted to be taken for a parachute ride. We're not doing that, but we might be able to do something closer than she thinks. So here she comes. Put one here, and then one into her. Knock her off her feet slightly, just enough to get her to re resist for a moment. And then off she goes. Oh, oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. This is going to be good. Oh, come on. We need to catch up with her. 492. She has definitely gone in the sea there. But that's probably about as good as I can do here. So that would suggest... I don't... I need to either flick people higher or I need to find a bigger cliff. Let's just see if I can just flick people a little bit higher first. I'm determined that this, this seems like a good location. Actually, you know what? If I could just get someone in here in the middle of all the ruined transformers. If I could get them, like, to this angle... And then just shoot them up through space there. That could work. And I can do that because all I need to do is pull in one person first and then apply the second tether. So you, that's right, you're now going over there now. That's right, just a little bit further. Yeah, that's right, a little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further. He's going to resist, but he probably won't be able to get there in time. Okay, and... Oh, he's going up. He's going... Oh, this is good. This is good. This Don't hit the thing. Clear the thing. Clear the thing. Clear the thing. Clear the thing. He's definitely cleared the thing. And that means he's going to... Four, 600... 638. All right. So that was, yes, a massive jump over the top of the ruins of the Vigilator. And then down on the far side. Presumably, he hit the sea. Okay. So that's going to be as good as I can do here. So this isn't good enough to break my personal record of 821 meters. I cannot remember where I got my record. <laughs> I can't remember where it came from. But the thing is, I'm going to need to find some taller mountains in order to do this. I'm going to need to find some... Ooh. That's a big mountain. Okay, I've nipped to the airport to grab one of my favorite planes. And I'm going to see what I can find on the mountain. Just for fun, I previously climbed to the top of the mountain just so I could wingsuit off and see how long I could wingsuit, which was for about six minutes straight, which was quite good. Um, so I'm going to go to the top of the mountain, and I swear I saw a big facility up there, like really close to the top of the mountain. So I'm going to head up there, see what it is, and if there's any people there, they might be the best candidates for getting some ridiculously long uh, far-flung foe scores off. You see, that's over there on the left, the massive lit up thing. That is like the central command of this big island. So I definitely don't want to be going over there. That's a big quarry, so that's not really that appropriate, to be honest. Okay, I can't see those ruins I thought I saw last time I was here. But I do see something down here that's nice and lit up. Oh, that looks good. It looks like it might be right on a cliff edge, too. There's a long way down next to whatever the hell that is. Oh, that might unfortunately be a monastery, which isn't that useful to me. Yeah, that's a monastery. But that's fine. Because there might be a... Uh-oh. Oh, flip. Yep, there we are. I think I saw something over here, too. Oh, yeah. Some sort of military base over here. Right, I'll clear this out. And this could be a good starting point, couldn't it? And by clear it out, I mean suicide. Bye. Ow, yeah. Antenna Tower has been destroyed. Beautiful. Right, rockets. Rockets. And the, there we go. You're going to explode now. And there we are. That's that been liberated incredibly quickly. Lovely. Okay, so we've got all these people here now. But unfortunately, this base I've just taken over doesn't have any good cliffs next to it. However, if the mountain shall not come to me, then I guess some of these guys are going to the mountain. I've just called in this here chopper. Now, are you guys going to be willing to get in with me? Can I honk the horn and you get in the helicopter? Because this is a troop deployment -y helicopter. That's why I've got it. No. No, you're not. Okay, in that case, I guess I'm going to have to take the element of choice away from you lot. 
So we're going to take a couple of people with us. Question is, how many can we get aboard here? So, you are coming with me. Get off, get off your feet a little bit. Off your feet, all right? And you are also coming with me. Okay, everyone off their feet a little bit more yet. And I'll oh, come on. Where where's the next one? Ah, you. You are also coming with me a little bit. Oh, I think one of them tried to get away there. She's tried to get away. That's fine. Yep, all of you are just gonna all oh, two of them have two right. Okay, I think I might only get two. Right, pick them off nice and quick, nice and quick, nice and quick, nice and quick. How many have we got? I think we've only got one. One will have to do. We've only got one. Okay, we're only going to get one shot at this. We need to find the perfect cliff. And I think it's... Oh, flip! I think I accelerated and decelerated too hard there. I kind of did a yo-yo trick with that individual. All I need to do is go up to that cliff up there and do, using that monastery's towers, a really, really good fling. And that should be perfect, okay? Did I mention I've got nitros on my helicopters now, by the way? I'm guessing that bloke down there is really impressed by all of this. Whee! <laughs> oh dear, I should probably keep him away from the rotors though. He probably... Oh, flip. Careful with the rotors. I wonder if there's people in the monastery. Are there people in the... I don't think there's people in the monastery. Sadly, he needs to be alive. If they die, they don't count as being flung. Which is deeply disappointing. Uh, right, I need to lower. I just wait for him to swing around the front that I can lower without him actually hitting anything. These guys are surprisingly resilient to like just kind of physics damage. So I might just be able to just lower him nice and easily now. Okay, yeah, forward a bit, forward a bit. Ah, now I can use the shadows. Now I can use the... I think he's on the ground now. He's on the ground, and we can now lower ourselves in. Is he... He's still moving! He's still moving! This man is still alive! He's... Where, where'd he go? Oh, there he is! He's in, he's in the back of the helicopter. No, no. Are you Okay. I don't think he's okay. Right, well, he's still going to be a useful test because we can take him around the front using the tethers and we can just do a test to see how far we theoretically can fling him from this sort of position to see if this is a good position to try and get someone. Because if we could... Oh, I feel like this is, this, this is the solution. Right here, those two towers and the thing behind it. This is, this is exactly the right position. Right here. I just need to get someone, enemy or other, to be in this... Ooh, enemy. Could I summon enemies into this area? If I could do that, we might be good. Okay. First tether to the top of the cross. Second tether to the top of the tower. Ideally, we double tether up. So ideally, we'd be using a civilian. Because double tether means double the force. Okay, then we just put another tether top of the tower, and then we just fling him. I don't feel like that even necessarily- Oh wait, that counts! Oh, that apparently counts. But he didn't make it off the edge of the cliff, presumably. Uh, I, thought it, I thought they didn't count if they were dead, but it would appear it did. I just need to get him down into that sort of gap over there. If I could just get him into that sort of gap, way off the cliff, that'd be fine. Now the question is, can I- can I find him? Yeah, this is the one we need. The tower at the back. The tower at the back. Fling them off this. Make them... That's another jet that was trying to find me and slightly failed. Good. I just need to fling them off this tower at the back and then just get them down into that ridge and get the angle fine. I, it, actually, horizontal's more important than vertical. This might be enough here, actually, just using the chimney and that tower. Yeah, I think this is the right angle. All I need to do is go get another helicopter and just do that again. Wait a minute, I've just had an even better idea. If I get in this here truck... If I get in this here truck... Guys? Guys? Alright? Everyone get in the truck. You're coming with me. That's right, get in. You too. More people get in the truck with me. We're all going for a ride. I see this little empty space in the back. There we are. Well, I kind of wanted her to come with us, but all right, fine. You lot will have to do. Now, now I've got multiple people inside this car. All right. Yeah, you see where this is going now. I get out of the car. All right. They all stay. No, 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 no. Don't, don't. 
What are you doing? Is that because I've got a waypoint? Okay, I've taken the waypoint off, so now they shouldn't all decide to go anywhere. Okay, now I've just called in a new special type of chopper here. And now all I need to do is connect up this here car, yeah, to this here chopper. So now this car full of people should be coming with me. And just as a backup, okay, so are you. All right, fine. Look, look we're going, we're going. Just take off. Quick, 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 quick. There we go. Do we get him? No, I think he got... Oh, oh, don't, don't destroy the car. Don't destroy the... Okay, the car full of people will be fine. That'll do. Don't hit the... No! Oh, flip. Everyone stay calm. I'm totally in control of the situation. Okay, the problem is the car's not been particularly well secured, but I think I can fix that. While we're in the air, okay? Just gotta attach that to the back of the car, okay? There. Now if I just slightly there, there we are. I think that should now be more secure. Oh yeah, look at that. That's way better. Lovely. Okay. Now, I've got to really carefully put this car down in such a way as doesn't destroy it. Oh, hang on. That's not where I would want them to be. Oh, good. I'm glad I spotted that. I want them to be over on this side. This side of the monastery, though. This is an actually even worse landing environment, but that's okay. We can totally do this. Oh, wait. I think we might have just done it. Oh, I think we actually just got it. Release the tethers. Yeah, no, no. Oh, there's a jet that's decided it wants to kill me. And then just gently set the helicopter. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, landing the helicopter might be the more difficult part here. Uh, just land it in the garden. Land it in the garden. Yes. Okay. Now, how do I get these people out of the truck? I don't know. Um, guys, we're sort of here. Um, oh, okay. She's got out of the truck. I've kicked her out of the truck. She dead? She shouldn't. Are you all dead? I think I might have killed them. But that's okay, because I think we established corpses work just fine for the purposes of this challenge. So it doesn't matter that she's dead. I just need her to be here at all. Her ass should be tethered to this tree. And where's the highest in the tree I can go? Uh, I can go to there. That's fine. And then her face or neck or something needs to be right up to there. Uh, yeah, the highest point possible is generally the best. So we just launch her there, and then ideally she will go flying off the edge of the thing. All right, three, two, one, go! The tree fell over. Right, the tree isn't sturdy enough for this. Where's her corpse? Because we still we can still recover from this. All we need to do is just bring her corpse back over there and we'll use the chimney like we originally discussed. Actually, that's a really good point. Why does the starting point need to be on the ground at all? Okay, step one, get the corpse up onto the roof. That's going to involve a mini slingshot just to do that. So corpse, corpse, and corpse. Now this should be enough to get it up onto the roof. Okay, no, but don't, don't, okay, now, don't release though. Just let her go. That's fine. Now, if we just let the things end up. Corpse gets dropped. No. 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 Stop it. Okay, put your hand up if you're not going to drop off the roof. Good. Number one. And number two. Go over there. Okay. Double tether. Meanwhile, on the legs, we're going up over here. Okay. Two tethers on the arms, two tethers on the legs. That will fling her in this direction, and ideally she'll pass straight over the side of the cliff and go way down into the valley if we've got this angle correct. And this should count, even though it's a corpse. So, all right, we're going to go. Ready for launch? I think everything's, yeah, everything's ready. All right. Three, two, one, go! Oh, that's a good fling. That's a good fling. The question is, oh, it's not counting. Why isn't it counting? It said corpse has counted. Oh, she was well over the side as well. Okay, I've returned to the first island to rethink my tactics. I'm pretty sure what I actually need here is the highest military base 
that I can find. Because I need a source of renewable soldiers. Because getting hold of new soldiers to test with is too difficult out of that monastery. Even though it's a really good location. So what I need is... What is this? Is this a military base? If this is a military base... <gasps> Asper itself! That's at the top of a mountain! Oh, yes! Right, I think we've got a plan now. All I've got to do is... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there'll be rebels on tap here because they sort of... They sort of respawn. Yes, look at this. Look at this little gap. Rebels. All I've got to do is get some rebels over this wall by this thing right here. And if they could just go down to that valley there, that is a huge drop. Where's the biggest drop going to be, though? Hang on, I need to calculate which direction's got the biggest drop going. I'd say it's probably this cliff here, past the edge of the uh, the challenge icon. This goes down a very long way, so if you could just flip some people over the edge of this here cliff, we'd surely be able to break a kilometre. I think we'd be able to. Alright. Okay. We've got this woman here. We've got those two, yeah, we've got a big thing up there. Now, these things aren't always that secure, but they might be enough just to get her far enough over the edge that we can do this. In number one, tiny pull just to get her off her feet. In number two, I saw the cloud of blood, so that was fine. And up there, and... Go oh! Oh, she got rid of number one! Damn it! That's annoying. She managed to get the first one off really fast. That's unfortunate. Ooh, but these could be even better. How many rebels do we have in this area? Yeah, we could just take the easy shot. We could just take an easy shot with this person over here. That could be a nice easy shot. Just pull that guy off his thing. Grab him with number two. Over there. Ah, oh, you see, the they fall over way too easily. I can't use... I definitely cannot use the spotlights just because they fall over too easily. That's the problem with them. And that means that you need to migrate... Over there, okay. Are you gonna be? I think they're gonna be alive. I think just like moving them around like this, they do survive. Yeah, you see, look, he's absolutely fine. He's none the worse for wear for that. Now, probably, you're gonna walk back to your original position. No, you're gonna hold perfectly still. Well, if you're gonna hold perfectly still there, that means actually, I'd like you to be about here, if you'd be so kind. Oh, no, don't, 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 don't give him whiplash though. You gonna? You okay? Yeah, you're fine, aren't you? Oh no, now you're on the move. Damn it. Okay, and then number one, just slightly pull off the feet. Second one in the ass, right over there. And oh yes, this could be good. This could be good. This could be good. That'll be off a very, very high cliff. Five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred. Personal, but eight hundred and forty-two. Okay. Now, what was in that direction? What was in that direction? What did you actually just fall off? So, where logically would he probably have fallen? Down to that road or somewhere? Somewhere about down to that road. So, that's 842. Alright, we've got, we've got the potential here. We have got the potential to do this here, right here in this location. I just need to get some people up to a nice high location to throw them off the better angle. Because the definitely the better approach is off in this way. Off this cliff down there. You know, in theory, just blasting them straight up between those two areas, that could work really well. Like the, the two sides of that staircase, and then they just go straight through that staircase into the area that I want them to be in. That could work beautifully well. So you... I need you to come to pretty much where I'm standing, okay? Oh, not... No, okay, just... I hope you're okay. Hi. You fine? Yeah, you're fine, aren't you? And you're going to stand there? You are going to stand there. I like you better and better already. Right, up there. To you. Okay, put you just a tiny bit off her feet. Straight into her neck. And go! Oh! 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 Oh no, she bounced off. She's never going to clear the edge. No, that'll be a short one. She's... Oh, unless... Unl no, she didn't go. The thing is, she didn't have enough horizontal because she bounced off one of the edges like an idiot. I blame her for this entirely. You are also going to come over here. All right, just just zip over. There we go. So a bit of, there was a bit of blood as his face was ground into the dirt there. 
Okay, that person didn't survive being dragged over. I may have been a little bit, uh, bit harsh. Rico, this isn't funny. Well, I don't know. It depends whose perspective when we're talking about what's funny and what isn't. Off your feet. Into your face. Over there. And... Oh! Oh, no, no. She bounced off something. She'll barely clear a few hundred meters. She didn't go that far at all. Yeah, 249 meters. Okay, one last final try at this as the people have conveniently, a couple of people have conveniently decided to respawn over here. We've got one angle over here that could work quite nicely. If we just kind of get you over here a bit. There we go. You just stay over there for a second. That's right. Just get, get to your feet nice and slow. There we are. And then you just pull him off his feet. One in the back. Up to the thing, and... Okay, that's a good horizontal throw, but I'm not sure how much is actually over in that direction. 400. Cleared 500. Six, 639. What did he just clear? He just went to... Okay, so that's quite a shallow valley. So he'll have landed somewhere over there. So that's okay. That's still one of my best today. All hail, Rico. One more for you, okay? You, just get off your feet. And then another one in your back. And then we'll go go over there. We're going to try this angle. Oh, that could be a good one. That could be a good one. That looks like she's going a really, really, really long way. Where's she going? 700. 800. 900. No! Damn you, game! Oh, that's so close. That's so close. Oh, damn it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm calling it a part there. I'm calling this a partial victory. A partial victory. I wanted to get a kilometer on Far Flung Foe, and I managed in the end to get a still very respectable, I think, 991. I, I really hope some of you decide to give this a go, because this is hilariously good fun. But yes, I am pleased to be on 991 meters. That's, that was a damn good throw. That was a damn good throw. We've killed a lot of rebels today, which I think is what this game's about. I've not been paying enough attention to the plot to be certain. But yes, 991 meters. Beat that if you can. Take this challenge video and make it into your own. In fact, actually, you know what? Um, If you follow on the subreddit, I will set up a little leaderboard for the many of Trudeau community on the subreddit. I'll sticky that. So if you have a particularly good score, do come along and add it to the little league table that I will put up in the subreddit when this video goes out. Let's see who of the entire many Trudeau community is the best at Far Flung Foe. That's one of my favourite little challenges that I've found in this game. So I hope a few people decide to give this a go. And in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been the Human Catapult Challenge in Just Cause 3. Thank you very much and goodbye. I've got plans. Dad, this, this is my plan. International Peacekeeping Force. I'm here to bring peace. It's a tsunami of monkeys. This is literally a tidal wave of monkeys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't be here. Don't be standing here. Okay. Oh, you want more peace? Here, have some more! Have some more!